I never actually apprenticed. Um, I'm self-taught, but I should say that I learned so much from wonderful artists that I was around. Nobody ever really like, you know, officially took me in under their wing. I learned most of my tattooing skills from Patrick Conlon, from Old Eastside Inc., Andrea Elston, Nala Smith. Those were like the really great artists that I got to watch and learn from mostly. And I learned probably all of my bad habits or business sense from Jonathan Shaw. He was the owner of the first shop I worked at. So in a way I could say, you know, he was my first mentor. Although if anyone knows Jonathan Shaw, they'll understand that there's a lot of tongue in that cheek. As for apprenticeships now, I've taken on various apprentices over the 20 years. Jess Massetti was kind of a co-apprenticeship with Patrick Conlon. She's upstairs working right now, just an amazing, beautiful, wonderful artist that uh, everyone should check out. She'll do way better than me in the long run. Everyone stands on the shoulders of the giants before them, right? So when I was coming up in tattooing, there was a lot of uh, the beginnings of the subtlety that's in the art, but not tons of the tiny detail that I've kind of been obsessed with for most of my career. Let's say that maybe most of the people tattooing weren't art art based as much as they had to survive so they were like tough guys too as well as tattooers but now you know that's it's a different world and the artists are from an art world usually and uh, the things they can do are you know remarkable and much much better probably than we did when I was starting and probably the next generation will be better than them I just took on a new apprentice recently uh, he's also an art graduate and he's good do great things. Craig, give him a little plug ahead of time. Good for you, Craig. And uh, Trudy Kaiser is the other apprentice I've taken on, and she's off in Boston right now doing remarkably well for herself. The apprenticeship system, I, I think I was too rebellious probably to actually do what anyone told me. That's why I got into tattooing to begin with. It was more of like a, you know, a fuck you, I'm not going to do a real job at the time. And somehow here I am doing a really real normal job the whole uh, tattoo world has changed so much since I started, so there's that. I, I came up in a way that was definitely looked down upon by the tattoo community without anybody, you know, uh, showing me the ropes at all. So I, I, I try not to judge too much. You can be a great artist and come out of a tattoo school, but it is uh, far less rebellious than it used to be.